Hey everybody, it's Carlos, Mortals Inc., Mortals Inc. Podcast. I'm here again to talk about... Oh, I forgot, I'm sorry. I'm here with Mikey. We forgot about me. I know. It's, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be able to do these. And uh, I don't know, I guess I should mention his name. Sorry. No. <laughs> what are we reviewing again? And we're reviewing uh, Vampire of the Eternal Struggle. It's not so much a review as we're going to talk about it for a minute. Vampire of the Eternal Struggle card game from... Uh, Black Shantry Productions. It's actually part of the world of darkness. If uh, you know anything about vampire in the role playing world, there's vampire, the Requiem, va- vampire, the Eternal Struggle, vampire. Uh, I think there was something else, some apocalyptic mess. But uh, that's a uh, uh, it's a long standing role playing game about vampires, and it's not even like the the, the goofy little like I don't want to say D and D vampires are goofy, but uh, they're like the classic villain, you know, like you got Strahd and all this. But uh, this is more like if you ever you ever watch Underworld. Is that the movie released in two thousand one? With uh, Kate, yes, yeah, I, I've never seen that, but like I've seen oh, copies of it. From <laughs> up and stuff. All right, so anyway, that's what the the vampire role playing game is. Is uh, you play one of those like lead vampires or the 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 vampire lords or the head vampires and you control a bunch of people and it's more of a political a, a political game. It's always political. It is. It's a, <laughs> it's more of a political control and area kind of game and you have to vie for power against other houses or clans. Well, this is the uh, card game version of that, so you don't have to have like a whole system or a whole bunch of players and you can play in one sitting. It's about a two hour time limit. How many people do you like play with at a time? Is this, the best for this, it says uh, four to five players. Two players probably won't work too good. Three will be better, but four to five is your best play base for this uh, game because it involves a lot of uh, conspiracies and, and, and plotting against each other and making alliances. Basically, what you do is you just sit down and you get a deck and you have a main vampire, which they call a Methuselah. I think it's called Methuselah. Yeah, Methuselah. And you're the head of some clan, whether it's, uh, there's so many different clans, but the main ones are like uh, Nosferatu and. Uh, Wait, is that the dude from SpongeBob? Nosferatu? Nosferatu! SpongeBob? <laughs> no! <laughs> are you insane? <laughs> But they all have different things. Like the Nosferatu are like the spies of the network. And then uh, I think the Sabat. Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess that name up. Or Carmilla is like the, the princes and the people in charge of all the, the main clan. But what it is is you when you have four to five players, uh, you have your hands and you, you build uh, decks to uh, assault. I think it's the player to your right. So the player to your right is your prey and the player to your left is your uh, uh, predator. So during the game, you're spending your time defending from the player from the left while you attack the player to the right. I could have it inverted. I haven't played in a long time. But it's all political because then the other two players in the game, if you have five or one or the other, you can ask them for help or you can make secret alliances or you can go back on alliances you had and uh, just mess somebody up. And if you're able to kill your prey, you become more powerful, which is bad for the other vampire houses or clans because then you're going to attack them in turn. You know, it just moves on to the next and the next and the next. And uh, the game lasts about, it says here, two hours. So 120 minutes, so two hours. So after two hours, you end the game by uh, victory points. And you gain victory points from, obviously, destroying other vampires or completing card requests and everything like that. Uh, Or, you know, I guess you could wipe out the other players at the same time. But uh, it is a very good game. This game was originally developed in the 90s by Richard Garfield, which is the guy who created Magic the Gathering. This is more, this game was actually made for group play. Like Magic is a one-on-one good player game. And they have Commander, which you can have multiple players for. But this was designed originally for that. It used to be called Va- uh, Vampire or it used to be called Jihad. But in the uh, uh, few years after that, they uh, changed the name <laughs> for obvious reasons. But uh, it has been gone through many. It, first, it was Wizards of the Coast and it was owned by White Wolf, which is a horror game company that actually has uh, used to used to own vampire uh the role-playing game and then now it's owned by uh black chantry productions uh, we have people that come here every time but every sunday they come and play this game and do they pick up from a like, point where they left off like last week like in this game or do you have to like completely restart every time you play the game no it's 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 your you build your decks how you want once one game is one game once okay. you play you're done okay you know it doesn't matter you can keep the same deck every week you know whatever you build but you can also modify these decks when you build them you know like this this core box set costs 95 but you get five 
of the decks, the start the, the the starter decks in this. So it's actually a pretty good deal for that. But we have the single decks where you can play. But now that you mentioned Sundays, if you want to come up and learn how to play, those guys are willing to tell you. That's, oh uh, yeah, Sundays. I'm here too Sundays. So you know, come see Mikey and ask him about vampires. I probably won't even give you any, you know, good feedback. <laughs> I mean, he's you know? never seen Underworld, so yeah, I don't know yeah, what to tell yeah. him. I've never seen Underworld. So What's why, the last vampire you movie me? you saw? Name the last vampire movie. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Absolutely not. This is not anything like this. I don't want to hear you <laughs> say anything else about vampires. Uh, While it was a good movie for entertainment, don't don't even put that in this genre. Really? Because I was basing it just off that. Like, no, yeah. uh, no, abs- no, 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 absolutely What if that not. actually happened? I'm pretty sure it didn't but if it did i can't see why they would or how they could hide. i'm not even gonna get in this discussion with you <laughs> yeah come on up on sundays at one o'clock they play this all the time these guys are really into it and actually they're releasing five new decks i think november 5th i don't know we're gonna put this up real soon but as of november 5th of this year 2021 they're gonna be releasing uh, five new decks i should have them on or if not like within a few days of the release immortalsinc.com yep immortalsinc.com <laughs> we should have them here but yeah these guys are really into it they'll teach you all about it they even have decks the one guy i know uh god i can't remember his name and i'm sorry but he always has uh, extra decks he'll gladly sit down and play with you walk you through this whole thing before you make any common investment but if you want to play a game with vampires politics intrigue and you want to like you don't mind sitting down for a couple hours and talking to people and really uh, manipulate each other <laughs> this would be uh the game for you or at least give it a try. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Don't forget to like us on YouTube. Subscribe to us. Uh, Smash have- that sub button. <laughs> we also have a Patreon account, which you can go to Patreon and just type in Immortals, Inc. We have one level of... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking one for? One level of what? One level of uh, support. I'm playing too much Mario lately, so I can't, <laughs> I can't hit me with that. So we have one level of support, which is a dollar, and it makes you a co-producer of the show. You have access to bloopers. You have access to uh, basically seeing what goes on behind the scenes of a game store. We're going to put a lot of that stuff up. Exclusive stuff. Yeah, it's mostly a lot of yelling and me getting mad about God knows what. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, dangerous stuff. Is that so, young man? Dangerous stuff. (laughs) All right. All right. Until next time, mortalsinc.com. See you guys later. Bye.